Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Solomon Raz and today I have a new stretch head video for you, revolving around the late medieval era cavalry unit, the Cuirassier for both Western and Eastern Europe. This strategy can be very powerful in the right situation, but it requires you to be in a team match on a land map and in the back line. So please do not try this on island maps or when you are spawned at the front line. Upon reaching the Bronze Age, we want to queue the Iron Age upgrade as soon as possible. For that, we only do what is necessary. A few workers can go on metal right away, just so that the upgrade can start as soon as all houses and warehouses are upgraded. Make sure to not build a stone cutter or forge, as that will only slow us down. Once we have enough workers and all houses upgraded to the Bronze Age, we move on to the Iron Age. In the Iron Age, we get the warehouse upgrades to boost our economy a bit, while we get the population upgrade and the town hall. You could produce a few more workers here or move right on to the medieval era of Eastern Europe if you have access to fish. It is important to get the population upgrade in the Iron Age, because this very same population upgrade will take more time if we get it in the medieval era and the increased population cap will allow us to build some fishing boats. After reaching the medieval era of Eastern Europe, we want to move as quickly as possible to the late medieval era. For that, we upgrade all buildings and all workers as soon as possible. A little note on the side here, upgrading docks takes longer than upgrading houses. So if your wood is not enough to upgrade all buildings at once, start with those that take a bit longer. While the buildings are upgrading, we queue a few more workers in the town hall and click the age up to the late medieval era as soon as every upgrade is done. Now that we are finally on the way to the late medieval era, it is time to prepare for raising our army. We build stables in front of our base and a forge in the back of our base, where we also start researching both cutting damage upgrades. I personally recommend to build around 7 stables for the strategy and recruiting 4 in each stable should get you to 28 cuirassiers, which will be a decent army while also leaving enough population space for your economy. A big downside of this strategy is that for the longest time we are quite vulnerable to any attacks as we don't even have the forge or resources to build towers. But fortunately we have one ace up our sleeve, which are the extremely cheap militiamen we can recruit from our houses that can at least serve as cannon fodder. Once your army is recruited, you can now choose any enemy player as a target for your devastating attack. The Cuirassier unit is very dangerous due to its high damage. Their incredible speed makes them perfect for sneaky attacks, but also allows you to dodge any defending armies and choose vulnerable targets instead. You do not want to fight an enemy army on the open field and rather attack the enemies in the backline to force any defending army to travel far away from any teammate they might want to attack. Any player that is hiding behind a wall is safe from you. Any player that is not hiding behind a wall is easy prey for you. Good luck and enjoy the rest of the video.
I wish you guys good luck and success with this strategy in the game. Thank you everybody for watching and see you in the next one.